Well, well, one thing about us country boys, we can get all the chicks. Flog this. S slap that. Choke this. What about you? But sex is one violent thing. Hey, they found out they've been doing studies on skydiving. If you jump, use a smaller chute each time you jump, after a while, you won't even need one. Well, you know what they say. If you don't first succeed, skydiving is not for you. Well, remember when I was young once, the girl told me, get a stable job. I told her, I don't like horses. Yeah, there's nothing more important to a young woman than her first marriage. Well, that's why they call him Turkey Vulture. Because <laughs> when you see him in the trees at first in the dark, uh, just as the light's coming up and you're turkey hunting, a lot of them get mistaken for turkeys way back in the day. Truth is stranger than fact. <laughs> I love the way it says, it's just a little while when you click on something, you go, oh, it won't take long, and then... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I got another joke for you. Guy gets hold of his breeding rooster, his chicken farm, and breeds everything. It's a super breeder. So he takes it home, and he turns it loose out in the barnyard. And it's bailing everything, man. It's getting all the chickens and all the freaking young birds around there. And he's looking, all the chickens are laying around, you know, gasping for air. And he's running in one chicken after the next, after the next, after the next, just screwing everything. And the guy's like, you better slow down. So the next day, he goes out there, and, uh, he looks at it and it's nailing the last of the chickens and then he works his way over to the horse barn and starts hitting all the horses and he's like Brrr, he's nailing everything in there his sheep he's going over and he's nailing the cows and finally like later on that afternoon he gets down he's out there slapping the pigs because you know he's having to take care of them because he nailed all the pigs too and uh, he sees buzzards out there circling around out in the field he walks out there and there's the chicken laying out in the middle of the field the buzzard just circling over to his head, you know. He looks at him and goes, I told you you're going to kill yourself. He kept this up. The chicken looks at him and goes, shh, I think they're coming down. Well, one thing about hiking out here in the woods is plants, they hate springtime. They got male and female trees from the way some have pollen and others drop seeds and all. But you can always tell female tree when you see these things. And here's another female tree. We're going to find us a male somewhere around here. And another piece of history is people wonder, how do deers and things get water out in the middle of nowhere? Well, they get it from, you know, dew that settles on the leaves and stuff in the morning. Uh, sometimes they'll have rain and water settle in puddles or small logs, or they go to the faucet. Well, here's a oak tree. It's pretty cool. You stand up in it. Got a little window sight there. And then it just goes right on up into there. That is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> I love that stuff. Do it for the vine. No. Do it for the vine. I ain't doing it. Huh, do it for the vine. The vine. We got lazy trees. Lay out. And just go right on out into the water. Oak trees are pretty cool, I love them. People ask me why I love to go out in the woods. Because how, how do you compete with this? It's beautiful. I just love to see a path like that, just go down it. And, hello, I'm Dennis Johnson. I go to Wikiwachi High School. I am the principal church trumpet player for the Wikiwachi concert, symphonic, and jazz bands. And you are the principal chair, right? I am the principal chair. I've been sent to the principal's chair a few times. <laughs> Where am I at now? <laughs> Gotta turn around slowly. Ah, uh, well, I showed you earlier about the female trees, but here's a tree kissing the other tree. Ain't that cute? Alright, today we are looking for the southern white back miner. If you look carefully to my right, you'll see one. They are highly aggressive. As you can see right now, this one is watching Family Guy on his iPhone. He's oblivious to what is going on around him. So I'm going to take him with a stick. You want to go? 
You want to go? Oh, you call that a knife? Ah, it's a knife. Well, here's my knife, my phone, and my wallet. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Well, kids, sex, drugs, and alcohol is not the answer. Unless you ask me what I'm doing for the weekend. Well, I got trees out here also that are making love to each other or hugging each other. I can never get away with anything, ever. You can't take pictures in the yard. Oh, I'm at the hospital with Sue, my friend, and I meet John Cleats on his other job. You know somebody likes you when they offer to let you drive their toy, like this one, limited edition. <laughs> that was pretty cool. All I need is this little antique right here, and uh, a 55 gallon drum, and I got a redneck laundry mat. <laughs> This is the thing in Florida, it's springtime, where we get locusts or locusts. <laughs> yeah. Locusts. Locusts. It's so cool, you have the little race stripes on. Then you get later on, they get huge, like the size of an index finger. Like, yeah, a little race stripes on them. We get bored out here sometimes, and I just record crazy crap. You're good to go. What rednecks do on their days off. <laughs> and the cap landed there. I heard that flutter by. Wow, that was weird. Good go. He murdered it. What's cool is, water doesn't take pressure. So when you hit it, it literally blow. This thing is hot. The, the pressure, the friction, it actually made the plastic hot. But it blows the belly right out of it. Energy transfer. Oh, but wait, there's still a black bottle. Any energy. Go ahead, kill it. <laughs> well, it stayed together and whacked a thing at the neighbor's house. Neighbors are pretty close over here. Man, I'm used to like the neighbors are like gunshot distance. Okay, the redneck compactor. Good to go. It's also how we take showers when the water doesn't work. Good to go. Any time now. And it landed there. Okay, good old juicy juice you said. Okay, fire away. Blew that all to crap. <laughs> Good to go. And it's out of there, I guess. Oh, the cap is in the street. Will this insanity ever end? Ah, uh -huh, you missed me.
I'm wet. <laughs> Like I said, I caught that one in the ribs that's coming right at the camera. I knew it was going to miss camera, but bam, I got it in the ribs. But I did it for the vine. <laughs> and what's funnier yet, this one here, it blew the top off of the thing. You think tops can't explode, but they do. The bottoms blow out. It, it's fun. Like the bottom of this one right here. Literally, the bottom is shred out of them. That's the one I hit you with. That, oh, that's the one that got me in the ribs. <laughs> they came at that camera. Hope you enjoyed that goofy little thing of redneck ang anger management. He murdered it. Yeah, this is what's left. Yeah, now explain how they're balancing all this now. <laughs> they're putting it on an unbalanced tire on top of a bucket that has a crack and busted section on, on a broken cup and the thing on top of it is full of water and bigger than the surface you're trying to balance it on. Who needs video games? Okay, we got this guy. Okay, you said how many idiots does it take to balance a bottle on a tire? <laughs> this is like that old song, you know, balancing a bottle on a jug on a tub on the bottom of a cup. <laughs> Uh, this is what we call here Spring Hill Redneck Baseball Spring Training. Four! Ow! And the bottle does not break. UL proven. <laughs> See, just this is what you're supposed to practice. Yes, Mike, on I know. Baseball. This is more like it. <laughs> There's one yeah, half again. This is you all day. approved. <laughs> There's the one he just hit, and he cut it literally in half. <laughs> What's Five funny is that side is busted. This side looks like he took a knife to it. <laughs> literally just blew it apart. Maybe if we could figure a way to do these in slow motion, we'd get a little better effects. But we'll work on this, folks. Smaller version. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, explain that to the camera, people. Okay, so I am a switch hitter, but I am primarily a right-handed hitter, so I don't know how this is going to work. Duck! <laughs> Man, that is a... Yeah, you all approved. I want my luggage made out of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> This is like Rodney King all over go, can't we all just get along? <laughs> Anger management, yep. There we go, we got a pop. That's right, we're out here for the clubbing of the soda bottles. We make jackets out of their hides after we're done. This is the way you're supposed to practice for baseball. <laughs> That's the true practice for baseball. <laughs> so, here's my buddy. And here's the cop car they lifted. <laughs> We're stripping the wheels off of it as we speak. <laughs> no, actually, they, this is a legit secondhand cop car and he's fixing the brakes. <laughs>